On this channel, we've previously taken a look at the Dellwise 3040 Thin Client. The 3040 is a great little machine, but it is rather hampered by a lack of internal storage. The 8 or 16 gigabytes of internal storage are not user upgradable, meaning you'd need to use one of the USB ports to add extra storage. Or at least that used to be the case. A user by the name of April has developed a board that allows a micro SD card to be fitted inside the 3040 using the internal M.2 slot. They've also shared these design files over on the Parky Towers website so that anyone's able to have a go at making one themselves. By the way, the Parky Towers website is home to tons of information about thin clients, so be sure to give the site a check if that's something you're interested in. There'll be a link to the site in the video description. I decided to have one of these boards manufactured and give it a go for myself. Assembling the board does require the soldering of a micro SD socket, but it's fairly easy to solder due to the size of the pads. Installing the board is straightforward. You'll need to unclip the base of the 3040, which then gives you direct access to the M.2 slot. Slot the board into position, making sure that the contacts line up correctly. Depending on the manufacturing tolerances, you might need to sand the board down slightly to ensure that it lines up. Screw the board in place using an appropriately sized screw, and then insert your micro SD card. The design of the board means that the micro SD slot is accessible even when the board's been installed, so you can easily swap cards later on. Once complete, you can then put the base back on the 3040. Though as we'll see later on, you might want to hold off doing that until you've verified that the card is working. Booting with a micro SD card inserted, you should see it show up as an extra storage device. To use the card as a data drive, you shouldn't need to do anything else. In benchmarks, the micro SD card shows decent performance, though of course this will depend on the card you're using. Unfortunately, my experience of using this has not been entirely straightforward. First of all, it appears that only certain micro SD cards will actually work. Out of this collection here, only the bottom two are actually recognised by the 3040. It will be interesting to see some sort of compatibility list to highlight cards that people have found to work. Aside from this, it generally seems to work well, and I've been using one of these now for over a year. It still hasn't all been smooth sailing though, with a card sometimes failing to show up when the 3040 is rebooted. This can require several attempts of reseating the board, or the card itself, before the 3040 will recognise it again. I haven't had any issues once it's powered up successfully, with my 3040 staying on for months at a time with no problems with the card at all. It's just that initial process of rebooting that occasionally seems to cause problems. Despite the issues, the extra storage has allowed certain OS files to be moved onto the micro SD and ensure there is plenty of storage for the system to function correctly. No more out of storage errors when trying to install updates. So to sum this up, I think I'd have to consider whether it's worthwhile trying this board out. And honestly, I'd have to say probably not, unless you're comfortable with some of the issues which I've highlighted in this video. 
I can certainly understand the attraction of having extra internal storage and not having to use any of the external USB ports. But given the limitations of this board, it probably makes more sense to just buy yourself a small USB drive. That said, it's always great to see hardware used in innovative ways that it was not intended to be used, especially when the creator makes their designs freely available. So a big thank you once again to April for creating this and for sharing it so that anyone can have a go themselves. We'll have more information about this board on our blog, where we'll also outline the process of moving some of your system files onto a secondary storage device. I hope you like this video, thank you very much for watching and be sure to stick around for the next one.